empties and more empties. What did I like? What was it worth it? Hi guys, my name is Bobby, and welcome to Mindful Midlife. I'm going to go through my trash, my trash to see was it something I would repurchase? Have I repurchased it? So let's get into it. I'm gonna actually start off with something that is not even a beauty product, but I wanted to tell you about it. I should have put it in a Yahoo's and Booze, but it is actually empty, the cases. I bought this from Target. It is a perfect protection. It says it's temperature balancing fitted mattress protector. So it, it's basically a mattress, not pad. I mean, it feels like cloth. And it's supposed to make it so that you don't feel as hot. It did nothing. <laughs> It's on my bed. I mean, it's fine. It, it protects your mattress, so that's fine. It's doing that. I noticed not one iota of difference from my other one that I was using to this one. I just don't want you to buy this thinking this is going to temperature balance. It did nothing remotely close to that. Two Lorac Posays. It is the Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I love this. I started using this over Sarah V when I started using Tretinoin because Sarah V would sting my face. I just couldn't use it anymore. And this doesn't do that. So I'm not using this right now only because I'm trying to try some other ones. I will absolutely be buying this again. Okay. Three of the e.l.f. cleansing balms. I actually really do like these. My absolute favorite, which I also have, is the Clinique Take the Day Off. These are second favorite, obviously way cheaper than this. So I always will purchase this when I can find sales. Like right now, I think I have three backups because there was a sale during Black Friday. So I'm going to be having more of these. But if I can't get it on sale, I do try to use the cheaper one. But if you can get this on sale, mm, buy this. More cleansing bombs. Can you tell I'm always trying? This was something, I don't know if this was sent to me or if I bought it. I can't remember. It's Versed Cleansing Balm. I don't even remember. Oh, it does have a smell. Kind of a mentholy smell. I didn't like it at all. I used it up, but it just, it did not work anywhere near as well as the Clinique or the e.l.f. one. And then many of you have suggested me trying out the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. And I did, I used the whole thing. This is totally fragrance free. I did like it. I didn't like it as much as the e.l.f. one. So either e.l.f. or the Clinique, I think, are the best ones so far. I'm always going to keep trying new ones when I see them, but I think these were okay. I don't think I would purchase them again. All right, I have two of the Power Stick Pure Sulfate Shampoo bottles. These I got at, at Dollar Tree. So both of these were a dollar, and there is six fluid ounces, six and a half fluid ounces in each one. I do think this is a good shampoo. It is not my favorite by any stretch. I do think that um, there are other better ones and obviously way more expensive. But if you are definitely wanting to stay on a very tight budget and you're looking for a decent shampoo that is sulfate free, it has coconut oil and geranium oil in it, for it to be sulfate free and be a dollar is just phenomenal. So I do have two of these. I would repurchase them if I needed to, but I, I have other ones that I definitely like better. Another good shampoo that I do like, and I've gotten it on Amazon, is this Nothing But Clarifying Shampoo. I think this is a really good clarifying shampoo. It's gentle. Clarifying will just take out the extra stuff in your hair. When you've been using dry shampoo and you've been using creams and mousses and all the stuff that we put in our hair, you can get some buildup and this takes all that buildup off and gets your hair very clean but sometimes those kind of shampoos can really strip your hair and then your hair feels brittle and dry this doesn't do that and so yes would i repurchase this yes in fact i need to this is my favorite way of tanning i do not like to do the kind where you have to let it sit and it it develops overnight or in a couple hours. I can't stand those. This is basically lotion that tans you gradually and I use it every time I get out of the shower. 
this goes on my legs and my arms and it just makes me feel amazing because I'm moisturized, but I also have a little bit of color and I really like it in the winter when I just don't want to feel pasty white. So I don't use it on my face. I will link what I use on my face below. But this is the Jurgens Natural Glow and then this is the Beauty 360, which, what brand? Oh, that's CVS. I like them both. I do not see a difference in either one of them. So I would go with the cheaper one from CVS or I know I've also done Target's brand. I don't know what that's called, but I'll link them all so you guys can try it. But these are good. Both, all of these are good. This feels like it's got stuff in it. Oh no, it's empty. <laughs> I actually have two makeup products, which is very hard to do. I went through a whole thing of number seven's Lift and Luminate. I just, it just is such a pain to get out the edges there. So this is absolutely hands down my favorite pressed powder and it has been for quite some time. I've heard people say it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. I think I would agree with that. I do have the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I only have in a tiny little one. So I think that one's great as well, but this way, way, way cheaper. And I love this. So I already have purchased another one. I also am getting rid of, I don't know if it's really an empty, but it's the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I, it just went bad. I, I noticed when I would put it on that it would have this like green, not like, not like mold green, but like the colors have separated. So I just need to get rid of it and throw it away because it's just old and I need to buy it again because this is one of my favorites for um, over my eye when I want to get that all colored in. It's my favorite one. So I need to repurchase this one. Okay, I went through a whole thing of Grande Brow. My big aha moment for 2021 was do using this for the first time and Grande Lash. What a change in my brows and lashes. So yes, definitely will have already repurchased that one. Actually, Black Friday, they were, they're normally, the brow one I think is 70 and the lash one 65, or it could be reversed, I forgot which one, but they were both on sale for 50. Huh, still expensive, I get it, but love, love, well worth it. Elta MD, this is my hands down my favorite SPF, but it's kind of expensive. So I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it. There are other SPFs that I like, which this one is probably my next favorite. CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion SPF. What is it? SPF 30. And this is not tinted, but this one's great. And obviously I used it all. So I need to repurchase this one as well. I just have ones that have been sent to me. I'm trying to get through them instead of constantly repurchasing the same ones. I need to use the ones that I have. Okay, <laughs> clearly I tried to get every last bit out of this. This is the Carousel foot cream that I swear by that has made my feet just amazingly soft without me having to scrub, scrub, scrub all the time. So I do this on my feet every time I get out of the shower and put a pair of socks on it. Love this. So I've already repurchased two bottles. Right, CeraVe um, PM Facial Moisture Lotion. I am not going to repurchase this right now only because it has been stinging my eyes since, not my eyes, it's been stinging my face ever since I started tretinoin. So I need to not use this. I'm hoping that I can go back to it because I actually love CeraVe products but it just, it stung. And I do have one in there and I may try it again and just see, but I've been using um, Lorac Posay as a nighttime moisturizer and that one works really good. Two ordinary, one rosehip seed oil and one they're squalling. Love both of these. These are my go-to for the nighttime moisture, just rejuvenating my skin. Sometimes I will actually take a drop or two of the rosehip seed oil and put it into a foundation that just seems a little bit too dry for me and it will just make it be easier for me to use and it won't make me look cakey and things. So sometimes I'll use it that way. And the squalling, just the two of these put together, it just makes my skin look really good and moisturized. All right, the Timeless Coenzyme Q10. I liked this, I just didn't repurchase it. I think I would like to repurchase it. I may be using another one right now. 
I think I am from another brand. Um, so I haven't, but I would absolutely purchase this again. It's a good antioxidant for your skin. And I got this one from, that was sent to me. It was from Ava Naturals Anti-Aging 10 Actives. It's got vitamin E, C, niacinamide, alpha, arbutin. Oh boy, I can't read that. Asteraxthin, hyaluronic acid, CoQ10, turmeric, aloe vera, and Walcom Biofement. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. I liked this. I really did like this. Um, I have so many things that I'm going through, so I don't need this right now, but I would absolutely consider purchasing this again. So I'm, or not, it wasn't purchased, it was sent to me. I would consider buying it. I used this a lot when I was acclimating to tretinoin and it really did help soothe the skin and um, didn't irritate it at all. If you like empties, I will link my empties playlist right here and you can go and binge watch a whole bunch of empties. So I will see you in one of those videos or the next one. God bless.